Hey everybody, uh, Wayne back again, and I just want to do an update on the uh, 2014 box stock community build. So as you everybody knows that I'm doing the 65 Chevelle SS 396 uh, Z16. And uh, so where I am right now is, I'm freehanding this, so please bear with me, rolling chassis. This is all done in... Uh, first of all, it's the 396, and uh, come on, focus. Is it going to? Sure, why not? Anyways, it's, it's the 396 from the kit. Everything I used from the kit, um, I used the custom wheels on it. And then on the underside of it, I've got a little bit of detailing done on it. It's the it's the wrought iron, and uh, the uh, transaxle. The rear end is painted in a semi-gloss black. The exhaust in a steel and flat aluminum, um, and then there's uh, shocks are in red. Um, the only thing I really want it, it's a very very nice kit. Don't get me wrong, it's a very very nice kit. But the only thing that uh, um, I think we're, we're Ravel sh what they should have done. Yeah, it's just me anyway. Uh, in the in the rear end, they give you about eight to ten pieces to put the rear end together. Everything pretty well comes separate, but on the front, it's all just one, just one piece. That's it. All this, all the control arms and steering and all that is all part of it. Uh, it's just one piece glued in together and and done. So you know you know there's a lot of kits out there where they give you multiple multiple front end pieces and everything else like that. And I think Ravel could have stepped up to the plate and room for improvement. So anyway, so that's the rolling chassis. Now, in the last video, I said that I was going to uh, be doing a two-toned interior um, using Butter Pecan and uh, Country Twill. So, we've done the two-tone interior. And it's a very, very subtle two-tone. Um, what we have here is we have the dark on the bottom of the door panels and the very top of the door panels done in the butter pecan. The package tray is butter pecan. The top of the dash is butter pecan. But the seats, uh, both seats, front and back, um, and the bottom of the dash are all done in the uh, Country 12. Like I say, it's a very, very subtle, very, very subtle um, two-tone. And I think it looks, abs I, I think it looks great myself. But anyways, um, as for the dash, let me get it a little bit closer, see if it's going to focus. I did the bezel in uh, the polished, and they're in the, the, the flat aluminum. And then I went with the dark gauges. Uh, that's just to set it off. Now, on a real Z16, um, that bezel would have been black. Well, I, I just wanted to shine it up a bit. Uh, this is not a true a true representation. This is my version of, of a 65 Chevelle SS. So I didn't do any bare metal in the, in the interior. I just, I did all the cranks in the uh, flat aluminum, um, the door, the window cranks, the door openers, uh, the ashtrays underneath, underneath the, uh, the handles is all done. A little bit of a line here, which would have been bright chrome. I just did in the, uh, in the flat aluminum, so but it's looking good. It's got the wood. It's got a wood sim simulated wood grain uh, steering wheel in it, and uh, so so that's where we are with the interior and with the chassis. Now the body, we did in the dark blue. So this is the dark blue. It is just called rich blue, and uh, it is that's just got that's got three coats of paint. And this morning I did a first coat of clear on it, so it's been uh, it's been it's been curing for almost 12 hours now, and I'm gonna let it sit a couple more days. I probably won't get to the body till about Wednesday, till about Tuesday, and then I'll start putting on um, start putting on the decals for the on the on the front corner in there. I'll I'll just do the uh, whatever bright work I want just in the flat aluminum. I'm not gonna worry too much about. Uh, about uh, bare metal foil on this one and uh, so I've got the front grill detailed out I got that back piece detailed out and I'm just going at it I'm going at it slow and steady um, I got the battery battery's gonna have to be painted 
painted black. And then when I get everything in a have real good happy place, then I will shoot it with a couple more coats of clear. Get all the bright work on it and shoot it with a couple more coats of clear. So that's where I am with this. Um, hope everybody likes it. It's uh, looking to be a real decent a real decent color combination with the dark blue, the rich blue, and then the two-tone uh, two-tone tan interior. And, uh, you know, it's been fun building it. It's a really good kit. If anybody was was, was passing it over, I wouldn't pass it over. It, well, this is probably not going to be the only time I build this kit anyway. So, anyway. But it is. There it is. It's, uh, it's rich blue. And uh, with the two-tone interior. So, I say that's the first coat of clear that's on it and it didn't come out too bad little little issues but nothing nothing that the second coat second and third coat won't cure so anyways so that's it for me uh so until the next time cheers everybody